So I come with some somber news. It's a video I didn't want to make, but here I am. Had something good to say today. I was hoping that uh, today would be a different day. This video is supposed to be so different. This video is supposed to be about redemption, about taking back what they took from us. And not only me, they took it from you. They they changed the narrative. This is all about buying the narrative. I had planned for this day um, for years. So, several years ago, 2011, 311, the world was changed forever. And you're feeling it now more than ever. We're still in the infant stages. It's terrible to compare a baby to a nuclear accident, which we'll find out these things are not really accidents because they're almost intended to leak, to blow up eventually, and not just give a fuck. That's pretty much what it comes down to, not giving a fuck. Because it's all part of the depopulation agenda. I really don't smoke too much. This is a cigar. Just had a birthday, so this is kind of like a little thing that I had left over. I thought today I was going to celebrate. I thought today, tonight, I was going to tell you, we did it, guys. We salvaged enenews.com, the website that was taken off the air that was giving us all the information coming out from Fukushima about the three blown nuclear reactors. I had enenews.com website saved on my, uh, on my home screen. So every day I would go to enenews.com and I would see, oh, it was like 404, you know, error code. So one day, a couple months ago, it popped up that it was going to be available. So I set my calendar for today. For the bid. Last night, I sent him my debit card. I sent him my license, my name, my address, everything. I was ready, guys. I was ready. I have money to put down. Now I don't got a lot of money. I'm not, you know, I'm not rich. I'm not rolling and do nothing even close to that. You know, I got a lot of shit going on. I got a mother with Alzheimer's. I got a son with. Autism. I got a newborn, and I got a daughter, and she's struggling in school. She got a full-time job, and it's just like a lot of fucking weight on my shoulders, bro. So, but I had some money to throw at it. I didn't have a lot of money, but I I should have had enough. I should have had enough, guys. There was like. Fucking 15 people bidding on that shit, okay? You had these people that own fucking domains. That they don't give a fuck about Fukushima. They don't give a fuck about nuclear. They don't give a fuck about any of that. All they care about are fucking numbers. Or who, who knows? Maybe those people out there were fucking Japan, fucking TEPCO. Maybe they're fucking bidding on it. It's possible, okay? So... Bid's going back and forth, back and forth. My plan was, I'm just going to bid at the last fucking minute, swoop in, and fucking take that shit, take ENE News back to where it was. My plan was, with ENEnews.com, I was going to put back all the important original articles that people saw during the time. So, we have that, because no other website really documented Fukushima like ENE News. And that's why I had it as my favorite fucking go-to page. I was so disappointed when it was knocked down. Dana Durnford, he was fucking disappointed too. I sent him a message. Like, I, I tried to call him, but his phone number is disconnected. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I can imagine he's getting harassed and shit that he probably fucking just 
changed it. I understand that totally. But I, I sent him an email and I was like, hey, bro, enenews.com is fucking up for bid. You got two hours to place a bid, fucking do it. And um, I don't know if he got the email. It's kind of last minute on my part, but I wish I could have told you guys. I probably should have. Because, um, I don't know. I just didn't want to drive up the bid. I thought I was going to swoop in and get it. It, it just didn't fucking happen. It just didn't happen. It was like fucking 3500 When usually a website like that, people pull them off for 300 200 So, there was quite a few bidders the last moment, and... I had to go to work. It was it was just fucking above the money I had. And really, you can't put a fucking price on it. You think about it, what that fucking means to us. The people that bid on it, they had, <laughs> they're not gonna probably do anything with it then in regards to fucking Fukushima. And that's what the website was basically created for. To highlight the devastation that you can have from nuclear accidents so just uh, letting you know the missed opportunity that we had and it's too bad that we weren't organized enough to pull it off but I really don't have no hopes that they're going to do anything productive with it. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Shit, that would be fucking beautiful if Dana pulled it off. But it's a lot of money. How are you going to compete with the nuclear industry? All the money they get from fucking the government for free. How are you going to compete with that? It's very easy for them to put up a defense. I was ready to go. I was going to put every fucking article E News back up on that site. Kind of looks similar, a little different. You know, I would have upgraded, freshened it up a little bit. I guess it wasn't meant to be. Maybe we can make another one. But. It was a good one. Obviously, a lot of people were targeting it. And you would think from 2011 that that site's been closed, what, since 2018 at least? That uh, six years? It was still getting a lot of traffic because a lot of people were bidding on it. They know. People know. I was seeing a lot better websites go for, like I said, two, three hundred dollars. So. It's a shame. It's a shame. I'm mad at myself, but not a lot. Because, you know, I had a plan. I, I stuck to it. It just didn't fucking work out. So. But haven't you noticed? It's been so fucking hot. Like, I've been, you know, through so many summers. Here I am in the dead heat of South Florida. And I've never felt heat like this. I used to be out in the sun for an hour, hour and a half. I would never get burned. But now, people are getting burned in 10 to 15 minutes. This is some new shit here. Now, it could be. Really? All the fucking radiation... Has has depleted our ozone layer. Is allowing this shit to happen. All that fucking nuclear boiling of water. Is allowing that shit to happen. All that Fukushima radiation. That's in the Pacific Ocean. Is heating up this whole fucking world. It's, it's kind of crazy too. When you think about it. Because we've been having these. Solar flares right. We've been having these. Uh, Aurora Borealis. In the fucking Yucatan Peninsula? No, in the Bahamas? 
The Aurora Borealis? Come on. Something's fucking up. And it made me think, oh, it's happening a fucking again? Like a month later? This has never happened in my lifetime where we had Aurora Borealis in Florida. It's made me think, you know what? All the freaking radiation has probably disturbed our ozone layer so much that we're going to have these occurrences with the sun. And if you think about the sun, this is not the same sun that I grew up with. I remember the sun being like very orange, yellow, orange. Now the sun is like more bright. It's like more of like a white. It's a different sun. But it isn't a different sun. What it is, it's our atmosphere around our earth that's changed. And what does it change from? What, what most likely reason could it change from? Radiation. Here we are, as I take this defeat in stride. Just remember where we're at in this point in time. 2024, June 6th. Where do we go from here? Well... We keep fighting, that's what we do. What other choice do you have? You either stand there, you keep fighting, you keep spreading the news, you keep waking up one person at a time, or you can just lay down, act like it's not happening like a sheep. You know, I'm getting up there in age, I gotta be really careful what I eat. And no matter who you are, what age you are, you should be being more careful now because our food is more polluted than it's ever been. I mean, you're dealing with GMOs, you're dealing with herbicides, pesticides. Like they spray an apple every fucking week with a different pesticide. So many ways they can get you. They don't get you from the fucking radiation, they get you from the injection. They don't get you from the injection. It gets you from the you'd be just being around people that have. They say actually one French fry is worse than a cigarette. Can you believe that? One French fry is worse than a cigarette. <laughs> I believe it. You got Bill Gates fucking making them French fries. Those Idaho's. The radiated eye holes with tons of chemicals on them. You wouldn't believe what the fuck is on a McDonald's french fry. If they have the meal back from like 30 years of McDonald's. And <laughs> it looks like it was made yesterday. Like it just does not deteriorate. That was 30 years ago. Imagine now like all the chemicals they got in this shit now. Well, that's where we're at, my friends. I'm on this beautiful lake. Behind me, you can probably barely see it. It's not really the best lighting over here. But, uh, it's that time where it's very hot. This is actually a great time to be in South Florida. You got mango season, got a lot of fruits coming out. People are going to the pool, people are out of school enjoying, you know, the pool life, the beach life. But how much can you really enjoy those things? You know, when you know what we know, sometimes it's kind of hard to forget. And sometimes I wish I never knew. But knowledge is power. It's better you know because you can prepare. While 99% of the people around you are not ready for what is going on. At least you're going to have a plan. At least you know what to avoid. At least you know to avoid the McFish sandwich from fucking McDonald's. Because it's from the Pacific Ocean. 
it's really a shame because people people think Fukushima is over. Do you believe that? <laughs> over Fukushima? Fukushima is never over. It's just the beginning. This is just that very first step of like 250,000 years where it's slowly going to deteriorate and there's always going to be some new some new radioactive element that's going to be causing a cancer for billions of years we are going to detect this in all the fish we're going to detect this in every human body there is a Fukushima inside of you Fukushima inside of me and it shouldn't be there you know you probably have gross cancerous growths inside of you I don't know about you but me there's places on my body where I'm like whoa what the fuck is that is that a fucking tumor you know and this is just a realistic of the day that we live in that yeah People are going to have tumors. People are going to be sick. You're going to be watching people fall down for no reason near you. I have people at my job. They just fall down. They don't get back up. By the time paramedics get there, there's nothing they can do. So you're witnessing the pretty much the pinnacle we reach of the human race. It's all downhill from here. That's why they're trying to get the fuck out of here. They want to go colonize another planet or something. Because this planet is not looking good, my friends. Not looking good. Southern Hemisphere is looking a little better. After Southern Hemisphere, maybe they'll all dip to Antarctica or something. But, uh, well, where do we go from here? You go from here. By making greenhouses by avoiding the obvious foods that are contaminated no fish especially no Pacific fish Jesus there's people in my own family I have to keep telling them over and over again they still buy it so I can imagine just the average Joe out there <laughs> he's still buying Fukushima fish that's going to cause cancer eventually we can't we can't run away from it you can't. I mean, I guess you could hide to some point. You can run for some point. Eventually, it's going to catch up to a lot of these people. Have you seen it? I mean, I know so many people have gotten cancer, heart attacks, stroke. It's going to be a point in time. And it's, it's hard to notice. In your own group, in your own circles, you might have a few people die here and there. But if everybody has a few people die here and there in their own group, that's a lot of people.